Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. And here's another thing, Stevie. These freaking guys crying in the f- ring. I, 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 I've had enough of this, bro. Bro, like, I swear to God, literally, bro, maybe once every five years, you'll see an athlete during a press conference break down for whatever reason, bro. Maybe once a, once every five years. Bro, you got freaking Punk and then Cody Rhodes breaking down. Can you, Stevie, can you imagine Bruno? Can you imagine giving Bruno a mic and Bruno starts crying because it's it's so emotional for him that he can't even get the freaking promo out? What, how freaking soft have we gotten, bro, that every single week there is a male wrestler crying in the freaking ring, bro? Well, I think Bruno would have cried if he had to wrestle hot and right four weeks in a row. That'll, that'll, <laughs> that'll do it. I, it's very much the, like you said, if there is a thing for Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 12, the boyhood dream becoming a reality was the storyline. Yes, it was. But yes. Everybody has a boyhood dream and tells you about it. Guess what? There's no such thing as a boyhood dream anymore. When everybody has a story, no story is special. So I, I agree with you there. The crying thing, you haven't even won anything yet. What are you crying? About? You didn't win the world title. Your family's not there. All this stuff and that, I, I don't know. I don't know what the societal shift within the wrestling bubble, it's like a twice perverse kind of parody of what's really going on in the world. It's it's really emphasized yeah, and it turned is. it up to 11. So <laughs> I don't know how you do that. And the thing with the ring announcer thing, yeah, Ben's right. Like there's a camera, I guess her phone that she gives to somebody that has like a profile shot of her. Like they show her reacting to the rock out of nowhere. And she's more excited than the six marks that are yeah. behind. Her. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah I, I saw that. Hey, I think of it. There's nobody that's ever going to please stop trying to be Howard Finkel. Nobody oh, will God, ever, please. ever touch him. Not even and for close. somebody, and for somebody that was so wasn't even off camera, could convey the excitement within his voice. There's nothing like you know. You want to talk about you kids don't understand what it's like to truly deservedly mark out for hearing your name until Howard Finkel announces that nobody will ever make you a star. Like that ring announcer, did. Stevie. You're not going to believe this, but Howard Finkel is—he's uh, calling me from the beyond. Should I patch him through? Oh shit! Did he watch wrestling? Yeah, Ooh, hold on. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, Howard. From the Department of Corrections in Cobb County, Georgia, weighing 357 pounds, the big <laughs> boss man. All right, thank you very much. You for a little bit nasally in <laughs> Hey Ben, seriously, Ben, because I, I, I want. Bro, this is wrestling. I'm sorry. I'm old school. What are we? We're irrelevant. What other things are we? What, what are the other words? Oh, you're an irrelevant parasite. Yeah, so. parasite. Mm-hmm. I want men's men, bro. It's I want good. Finn. What is with these freaking guys crying in the freaking? What is with this, bro? Uh, I don't understand it. This is this is fairy tale land, bro. Why are we crying in the ring? Yeah, it's because they are <laughs> anime comic book fans who've never chopped wood carry water. 1995, I was on the track at the Woodsman's Field Days, and I watched a guy during horizontal block chop take a $6,000 razor sharp axe and come down a, a, oh. and put it between his second and <laughs> third toe about an inch and a half in. And, and it was like that, and down he went, and uh, they had to pull it right out of his foot. He never fucking shed a tear, bro. <laughs> and I look at these fucking guys, and these are guys that understand the business. And I was at developmental with both of them. And that's, that's, <laughs> you want to talk about what Chicago made is to me? Mwah, beautiful representation of the North Side. It's absolutely that, bro. And uh, the other one is, um, you know, the grandson of a plumber, but uh, never uh, snaked a toilet in his life. I mean, bro, <laughs> so, like, bro, well, if, 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 if watch one in there, he probably if 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 Dusty is brought up in any, Dude, free- they've. They 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 kick the dusty casket more than they kicked the oh. ECW casket. 
<laughs> really oh at this God. point, right? You know, of everything they've done. It's just like, can anybody stand alone on their own merits at this point? Jeez. No. Yeah. And they bring those things up to pluck heartstrings. So then we can do another sad Native American tier one down the fucking cheek, right? Like, it, it's just... It's it's the rubber chicken in. The th that's what I was thinking, bro. You want to do... Like, look at NFL, right? Where, it was, it, was it at Buffalo Bills that they throw cocks on the field, the, the, the dildo? So. Yeah. Bro, that's what people should be doing. If you were going to be an ECW crowd who wants the business and wants to go into... There should be fucking dicks raining down from all angles in that in that arena, bro. Yeah. Philly, it might happen. Yeah, it, it might happen in Philly.